Hi everybody, welcome to another lesson in our Figma course. In this video, we're going to look at Boolean operations. Boolean operations are basically taking a shape and interacting with another shape, either to add or to subtract or exclude. And we're going to look at those features in Figma right now. Let's get started. So first, let's start with creating a new frame. F on the keyboard. I'm going to choose Instagram post. Line it up here on my workspace area and we'll call this lesson 10. And now let's just start with some shapes. Let's start with the ellipse and we're just gonna drag out an ellipse. It doesn't really matter what size it is. I'm just gonna hold shift so that I get a perfect circle. And I'm going to alt drag. So hold down alt and click and drag to create a copy of this. And just so we can see what's actually going to happen here, I'm gonna change the color of my second circle and I'm also going to change the layer style here. So this is how it's blending with anything that it's on top of or underneath. And I'm going to change this to multiply. So we can actually kind of see through this shape a little bit. And I'm just going to line it up so I get those smart guides so I can see that I am lining it up halfway into the radius of this first ellipse here. Okay, so let's select both of these now. And right up here, we have this double square icon. This is the Boolean groups. We can see, we can union, we can subtract, we can intersect, and we can exclude. And we can also flatten the selection. So let's try out some of these. First, let's try union. What union is going to do is actually combine these two shapes into a single object. Let's try that first. We'll click that, and you can see now it's taken on the attributes of our second circle and created this union shape. And we can see over here in the layers panel that we get a union group. We can actually still edit this, but it will act as a single shape when we move it around on the canvas. So we can adjust, we can change the size of these different shapes, but we have like a group with these two shapes together. And this is really handy because we can add strokes, we can add effects, and it will treat this group object as if it was a single object. If I change the fill on this, it will change the fill of the entire union group. As you can see, the stroke is going all the way around this group. And as I change my different shapes inside of this group, it behaves as a union. So these two shapes are united. So that's union. Let's create another ellipse. Holding shift, I'm going to create a perfect circle. I'll alt drag again. Let's do the same thing here and I'll change the color to whatever you want and then I'll change it to multiply so that we can see how it's interacting with our shape underneath. Now let's try the second option which is subtract selection. There you see it's done exactly the opposite. Let's select our first union here. We'll press Control Alt C to copy the attributes and then Control V to paste the attributes on our new shape, which is now in this subtract group. Again, we can change how this second circle we created or second ellipse is subtracting from our first shape. So this is a subtraction group in this Boolean group. So you can create things like Pac-Man or a crescent moon, that kind of thing with the subtract. And when we move it around on the canvas, you can see it treats it as a single object. I like using ellipses, so let's just stick with that. O on the keyboard. We'll drag out another ellipse. We'll do the same thing again here. Alt drag a copy. Change the color. Change the blending mode to multiply. That way we can see exactly how these two shapes are going to interact with each other. And let's try the third option, which is intersect selection. And you can get a clue of what it's going to do by the icon next to this label here. So intersect is going to only keep what's overlapping, as you can see here. So this is a really cool way to create leaf shapes. And these are also editable in the Boolean group. We can also paste our properties that we had still copied on the clipboard. 
So you can see how this is interacting as a intersect group. I'll press O on the keyboard again. We'll create a new shape. Alt drag a copy. We'll change the color of our second shape. Put this on multiply. Select them both with a lasso drag selection. And let's try the exclude. Exclude is going to get rid of anything that's overlapping. So it's the exact opposite of intersect. See that? So now it's cutting out what is actually overlapping itself. We can paste our properties again, and we can change how these shapes are interacting with each other. And it's excluding what's being overlapped. Our last option here is a flatten selection. And what this will do is flatten these shapes into a single object that is no longer editable except by changing the nodes when you double click then you can change the nodes but now these are not ellipses anymore these are still vector shapes but we don't have the ability to edit them as independent objects from each other so if you want to flatten and commit those boolean operations you can choose flatten selection or control e on the keyboard and with these operations, you can create some really interesting effects. These things are great for creating more complex shapes out of basic shapes and combining shapes together to create more intricate, yet still very precise shapes. Practice using these Boolean operations. You can also do this with custom shapes that you've created using the pen tool. So you can create unique and organic shapes using a pen tool and add or subtract or exclude other shapes with the shapes that you've created with the pen tool. Try it out, it's a lot of fun, and you can get really interesting results with the Boolean operations in Figma. Thank you guys for watching, bye for now.